This is a short tutorial on how to do cross tabs in SPSS. So say we're interested in looking at this Pew data on adult internet life. And we want to know whether or not there are gender differences in how people access the internet. Right? So this is a multivariate question. First, we want to go up to, you. actually, first, usually what I do is I check out the variables that I'm looking at, right? So I'm like, here's sex, male and female. Say I'm interested in these questions of whether or not people use the internet, yes or no, and do they use the, um, do you use the internet or email at home, right? So I need to go up to Analyze, and I go up to Descriptive Statistics, and if you notice, um, we've used descriptions and frequencies before, but we're going to use cross tabs this time. And what I want to do is I want to think really carefully right now about which of these variables is my independent variable. Whichever one that is, I need to percentage on that independent variable. What I mean is that if I hit OK right now, so I've just moved my two variables into the row and column, and I can put them in either one. It doesn't really matter. What I really need to do, though, if I just hit OK now, my work here would not be complete. I would just get the raw numbers, the raw number of people who said that I'm male and I use the internet at least occasionally. So what I want to, want to do is go up to this button here of cells, and I want to tell it right over here in this percentages um, display which one of these is my independent variable? So in this case, it is sex or my row variable. So I want to click that button here in percentages. If I had switched these around and put sex as a right column variable, then I'd want to check a column. The answer is never to check total. And this is really important. This is a very common mistake that students make. So I click OK, and what I get is I get this case processing summary, right, which tells me things like how many valid cases were included in this analysis. So there were a lot of cases here, 65, 69, and whether or not how many um, were missing as well. So it looks like 3.6 cases were missing, and we'll talk about why that might be the case um, later on, and just a very small, small number. This is due to some of the weighting that they do. So what I get is I get this crosswalk with a very unattractive title, Right? So when we format our cross tabs, we have to change the title. But it shows us our variable name and the variable label. Mail tells us the count here. These are very cluttered to look at, but it's, we can see that 79.1% um, of men reported that they use the internet at least occasionally, and 78.5% of women to these at least occasionally. And we'll see that we have ways of testing whether or not this is statistically significant. I'll get to that in a later video. So say we want to do that again with another question about a different question about the internet, right? And whether or not people are using the internet at home. And again, I want to go through and make sure that yes, my independent variable is here in the row, the row box, right? And that's what I'm going to percentage on. If we look, we see actually there are some slight gender differences here, and that women seem slightly more likely to use the internet or email at home, 91.4% of them do, whereas men, 88.5% use the internet or email at home. If I wanted to get a little bit more complicated, Say I think that part of this has to do with um, some of these demographic variables down here, um, such as whether or not people are parents. Maybe they're more or less like to use internet at home if they're parents. What I can do is I can put my control variable down here in what we call the layer box. Um, and we really only want to put one in at a time. Um, so if I click OK, what it does is it creates an even more complicated graph here, right? Oh, and I should have gone through and cleaned this up, right? So all of my refuse people are in here. But it, what happens is that this first cross tab box right here, this is all of the people who said, yes, they are a parent or guardian of a child under the age of 18 now living in their household, right? So right, these are all parents. So these are male parents and female parents. 
And we can see that among male parents and female parents, eh, there's not a whole lot of difference in terms of who accesses the internet at home. This box right here, everyone in it does not have a child at home right now. So this is men and women who do not have a kid. And we see actually that for women, slightly higher, right? they're slightly more likely to be accessing the internet at home if they don't have a child. So this tells us a little bit more about these kind of gender differences in internet access. It doesn't seem to be that much of a difference, right? But we can see that um, it's not just that women access the internet more at home, but that it's certain kind of, kinds of women that do. It tends to be women who aren't parents who are slightly more likely to access it. And at the very, very bottom of your cross-tab chart, there's always the uh, a cross-tab that has everyone in it, right? So parents and non-parents.